humans. So today we are finally going to finish up the third eye chakra healing spreads. Terribly sorry it took me so long to get to this point. I have been going through a couple of tower moments. Um, it was all necessary. I'm thankful it happened. But it had me on a commission for doing these readings as taking on the energies of the collective on top of mine was not something that I was going to be able to physically handle at that time. So now that I'm back to normal, my elbow hurts. I'm really sure where my fucking elbow hurts. <laughs> my elbow hurts. Somebody else's elbow just randomly hurt. What emotion am I holding on to that's right here? <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to start with the water signs and we're going to work our way that way. You guys aren't going to know what's what because I didn't release it all at the same time, so I'm not really sure why I'm going to tell you that. But I did want to say thank you to anybody that has subscribed, has clicked like, who has taken the time to comment especially. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I have a new Instagram. I'll put the thingy down there somewhere. And yeah, if you like the channel and like what I'm providing, please subscribe or share. Uh, apparently that helps the algorithms and all that. So now that I've sounded really smart. <laughs> Let's do the readings. Sagittarius, what's up guys? We're going to be doing your third eye chakra healing spread today. I hope you're amazing. So I am going to pull five cards and the first card will be representing your third eye right now. So I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, and my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside and give Sagittarius the messages that are meant for their highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sagittarius, you are not even paying attention to the spiritual world right now. Are those that are seeing this, right now you are more fo focused on... Okay, that's for a group of you. The majority of you are focused on work more so than connecting with spirit. Some of you are using or utilizing your spirit to connect with your work more. Um, spirit wants me to remind you of the balance needed to hone in on spirituality in an artistic way. Uh, meaning if you're, you're, um, sorry, my sweatpants, <laughs> I'm dressed up right now. Um, if you're creating arti ar artistic uh, endeavors artistic endeavors not sure where that came out creating art or creating in general utilizing your intuition and more in the spirit and heart realm of things there is a balance a, not just a balance in regard to the 3D but a karmic balance that's required and is is needed for you to be mindful of now they're really really in in um, in depth on the words they want me to pick and it's very careful how they're wording this there's a fine line between being in the heart and being in an egoic state that is similar to the heart. Okay, whatever. I'm being told whoever is going to, whoever's supposed to see this is going to see us and it's going to make sense. How can Sagittarius better hear their intuition?
your intuition, your higher self is never going to have you do the same thing every single time, every single day, every, the same way each time. There's something you're doing in regards to your spirituality that's it's causing you to have grown impartial to the growth aspect of everything. And it's highlighting your third eye, which means that it's like, it's as if you have hit a spiritual plateau and you're not aware of it. And you're slowing, fall, slowly falling out of your bliss and into an impartial state of mind in regards to your spirituality. And it has something to do with mixing spirit with work. There's a fine balance. And I mean, even here, she's balancing paint cans. There's a fine balance between doing it for the collective and pushing out a lot of content or a lot of, um, I don't know why I said content. Maybe I have some of my girls watching me. What's up, ladies? Um, a lot of art, a lot of uh, books, media, videos. Whatever it is, is, I'm hearing publishing, whatever it is that you're creating in regards to spirituality and connecting the two and intertwining them to, and sh to make it something that is lucrative on top of good for the collective, there is a fine line. And they're being so careful about the words that I have to pick. It's really annoying. This <laughs> is so annoying. I just want to say, oh my gosh, they took those words right out. They took those, really? Okay. Damn. Give me a second, guys. This is crazy. They're working out a way to say what I was trying to say just now. Because they agree it needs to be said and addressed, but more tactful. <laughs> Okay. You're not living in your ego. I want that to be clarified. I have to put the whole deck down to clarify these two cards right now. You are being... Excuse me. There are choices being made. from ego that isn't in isn't an egoic response but more so a 3D protection and not so much against others but like living in the 3D it has more to do with like the stability and the probability of this is so crazy. I don't know. This isn't making any sense. Probability of consequence. Um, whatever that means to someone. And they're just going to drop that there. I don't know what that means. And now they want me to keep going. Oh, okay. Someone here is going to see this message. Whoever this is for, feel free to drop a line. I, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm not reading it, but they're, they're so direct in how I'm being told to say things. Like, <laughs> and if I've tr I tried to go just over them, like, not, I'm just going to say what I want. I'm just going to get it out so I can continue to go. And they took the, the, the words from my mind, like, my mind went blank. <laughs> so I just have to kind of go with the flow right now. Like, this is a submiss submission to source at its highest level. Okay. Uh, a sign or a theme from your spirit guides that is occurring in your dreams that they would like you to pay attention to. You're teetering on...
teetering on destinations. This is a destiny card, and it landed not upside down, but also not upright. It's almost like the meshing of the two is causing, this is a really specific message, I'm sorry uh, for the collective at this point, this is very specific. Uh, the meshing of the two, work and spirit, has you impartial because if you're not careful, you can dip all the way over into your darkness. Something to do with destinations. Comparison. Comparable, comparison. This is a really specific message. Uh, what's the best way for Sagittarius to balance a chakra, please? There is a highlight on giving to others. Um, mm. Some are giving to others and they're doing it so much in such a robotic way. Three-dimensional abundance is, is good and nice and kind, yes. But the intent can't be... Okay, there we go with the wording again, guys. I know what they want to say. Why can't I just say it? The intent cannot be to right a wrong that you feel you've done. You feel... It can't be because you feel guilty for something that you've done when tipping your scales to the darkness. Okay, I get it. You've grown impartial to your spirituality and growth because you've turned into this like spiritual warrior of gifting and servicing to others. And you're doing it from the intent of feeling guilty rather than doing it to, to give service to others. And that's why you're feeling so impartial. That's why it isn't filling that, 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 that hole that you feel, that, uh, that, that darkness. Um, black hole's intense, but it's like pulling anything from you that you may feel could give you happiness away because that guilt has you and as i'm saying this i'm getting pain right here which is like blame blaming self right where the pain is all right what's going to be the uh result of sagittarius balancing this chakra please All the cards like flew out here, but there was one that landed here. So this is very, a very specific message. Wow, releasing all that does not serve you. Everything that no longer serves you, your higher self, your happiness. Look at that, like covering your, your just like, releasing the dead parts of self that no longer serve who you have become that are turning you impartial. Because right now you're not listening. I, I, there's an emphasis on not hearing guides. Two hands over the ears. And I always see this as like the guides shining down. Like, yo, we're trying to get through. Solar plexus upgrades like crazy too. I bet your solar plexus is going crazy because out of nowhere I'm getting this pain. It's causing you physical pain the way that you feel. You're going through some sort of recovery right now. Okay. Give me an uh, affirmation, chakra affirmation card for Sagittarius, please.
All right. Forest Frolic. A maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. All right. And you know what it is about an inner child? You know, with our inner children, we had no attachments to the reality of a situation. If we eat five peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, our stomach is going to hurt so bad we're probably going to puke in like an hour. They didn't have that thought process. And because they didn't have that thought process, they didn't have unrealistic possibilities weighing them down. And I am being told unrealistic possibilities weighing them down. Meaning this is what you need to come out of. You have unrealistic ideas possibilities in your head that are weighing you down and keeping you from who you need to be. Alright. It feels off because the choices being made are off the are off the path meant for your soul mission. Alright? This is why doing the service for others is upside down like this. It feels off because you're not making the choices for the right reasons. The reason there is a lack in abundance is because there is an abundance of lacking thoughts. All right, I'll read that again. The reason there is a lack in abundance is because there is an abundance of lacking thoughts. And abundance is not always three-dimensional monetary money cash abundance can be love from another person abundance could be food in your fridge abundance could be blissful feelings consistently it doesn't have to be a monetary thing stillness is a superpower focus on intent the intent behind what you're doing is incorrect therefore the way you feel is off stillness is a superpower they want you to go within Chakra card, what's the main chakra they need to focus on right now? Outside of this third eye that will help them get dialed into their third eye first. Quick, quick, quick. Your root chakra, it's your root chakra you're feeling unstable. Your root chakra is your, your home, your shelter, your safety, your nurturing, your warmth. You're feeling lack of an abundance from either a home situation or another person. Or even uh, self-love. Lack of abundance from self. Lack of love from self. All right, and let me see what the self-love cards say for you, Sagittarius. Sorry I sped up all the way. I've literally got like five minutes before somebody shows up, and I still need to pack some stuff up, so. All right, this is the love cards here. We got friendship. Nurture the bonds of your friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. So uh, these are love cards, obviously. I see this as you need to nurture the bonds and friendship within self because I'm reading these for self self love cards. Okay, there's a need to nurture yourself and the love that you feel for self. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun and remember that love is the greatest healer. Okay, and it said inner child. So you need to remember why you started. Remember why you started. You know what? I think I forgot to pull a card for Aries, but they got two of the chakra cards, so this was definitely supposed to be pulled for them. My bad. Definitely want you guys to have these messages. This is the Sacred Geometry uh, Oracle. Activation Oracle. DNA Activation. your sacral or what they really want you to highlight and focus on so that you can get to the third eye balancing the frequency of the sacral chakra the orange flower of life supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives and this is not something that your uh, conscious mind will understand but your subconscious mind will recognize this All right, Sagittarius, that that was pretty intense. It was for somebody specific. Um, the 
main chakras that you need to focus on right now to get to your third eye being balanced, your third eye chakra being balanced, is your root and your sacral. So your first two chakras are not dialed in. And once you get those dialed in, everything else will begin to align. Your abundance will come through. Having fun, letting go of the issue, not focusing on things that are hurting you, but instead focusing on things that make you feel good will get you back in alignment. I hope that helps you, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Namaste.